Hey folks, welcome to McFarland's Corner. I'm Michael McFarland, the Lake Fork Guide, and I'm about to give you a Lake Fork rundown for the first week of July. July 2020. All right, I didn't fish Monday or Tuesday, um, so I did keep lake levels for you. 402.62 on Monday, 402.59 Tuesday, 402.52 today. You can see we're still very stable, dropping at a very slow rate. Um, from Monday to today, we have maybe one inch. So 48 hours, um, only one inch of drop in the lake. That's pretty good. One to three foot visibility, main lake, okay? Backwaters are starting to get pretty hot and changing color for sure. The temperature this morning, 81.7. At the end of the day, 84 degrees. Um, we ended the week last week. This is the end of the last week. So low to mid 80s and then 402.67 uh, ending last week. So you can see that everything's kind of real stabilized. Um, and fishing is, it's awesome. Um, we catch a fish every time we go. Uh, we started out this morning uh, catching mostly cookie cutters using the Santone Piglet football shaky head. Santone, football, piglet, shaky head, 5 16 ounce, tipped with magnum trick worm, watermelon candy, watermelon candy red when the sun's shining, remember that, dip the tail, dip the tail chartreuse. That's what we started out with, and it was working pretty fair. Had two young boys and their father, uh, really father, son, and a son's friend, um, and uh, Tuna, that was his nickname. Um, he started out right away banging on them. Um, again, mostly cookie cutters. Um, we made a change and a transition probably about nine o'clock. We made that transition back to the football gym. And it's summertime now. So I finally broke out the JC Craw. James Caldemeyer. That's right, Mr. James Caldemeyer designed the JC Spicy Crawl. That color in the summer is awesome. All right, tip that with a regular Rage Crawl, green pumpkin, three quarter round Santone football jig, JC Spicy Crawl, and the big fish started coming aboard the boat. Our three biggest fish today went 23 pounds. Our biggest fish was nine pounds. 15 ounces. It was one ounce away from an official double digit. It was 24 inches, 24 and a quarter. So it was official over. And we did have the option to bring it into the marina, but it was 2.30 in the afternoon. It was awfully hot and the boys had to make a decision. Really, dad's the one that made the decision, but bring the fish to the marina and that would have pretty much finished up our day or let that fish go and keep fishing. And man, kudos. Kudos to you guys, dad especially, because he's the one that caught the fish. Um, I'm pretty sure if we'd have taken it to the marina, we would have got the official double digit. Um, it was a very healthy, beautiful, giant Lake Fork bass. Um, again, on my scales right at 9.15, but we put that fish back right where we caught it. We didn't need the recognition of the marina's certified scales. Good enough. Double digit. Congratulations, Monty. Nice catch, sir. Again, as I said, our three biggest fish today broke 23 pounds. Um, it was a good day, folks. We lost a few others. Um, there were some lulls and there were some extreme highs, but it was really awesome to get to spend the day on one of the most, best bass fisheries in the world and have it show itself like that um, when it counted most. So dad said he was going to catch a big fish, and he sure did. He caught two of them. Um, Look forward to having those guys back. So, you know, real quick, a lot of times people are wondering a little more information. So I want to kind of help you out. I'm throwing that on 20 pound floor carbon line. We've talked about the rod before. It's an MB seven foot three, 1530 real time rods with the McFarland signatures. Go ask Louie for a MB seven foot three, 1530 with the McFarland signatures. We boated that 10 pound fish today in less than a minute and a half. The guy even said, the guy, the, he said that rod whooped that fish's butt. And as big and as powerful as a 10-pounder is, that's why I designed these. That's why Louie 
is selling so many of these. This is an awesome, one of the most awesome outfits I've ever used for landing, hooking, and landing giant bass. Real-time rods, MB, 7'3", 1530 with the McFarland signatures. All right? Um, but what are we doing? Usually dragging that peel. Most of the time I'm putting the boat in 8, 10, throwing out into 20 or so and dragging that peel. The big fish today didn't come that way. The big fish came using the wind. I chose to use underwater submerged points, deeper points, um, and windblown points where the bait had been blown in on them. Um, and we put the boat in 18, 17, 18, and threw up. Most of those bigger fish are in about 14 today. Um, but that's a just a little more detail on exactly how we were fishing the JC Crawl football jig. 14 to 16 feet, folks. A um, couple quick things I wanted to thank my clients, uh, Spencer, uh, last week. Uh, man, I have some of the coolest clients ever. He brought me a nice tackle box. I really can't open the whole thing and dump it too far for you. But these are all custom painted, um, and they're excellent paint job. Um, man, some of them look so good, I'm not sure I even want to use them. I want to just put them in my memorabilia wall. It was such an incredible, nice gift that I probably have several hundred dollars worth even a glide bait. That glide bait alone is a $70 bait. He repainted it as crappie um, and had done a really good job on that, a baby crappie. Um, but I have uh, probably a couple hundred dollars, again, worth of baits just generously brought and given to me from clients. Wonderful people you guys all are. God bless you all and thank you so much for what you do for me. Got me a little care package. I'm going to share something with you. Folks, if you haven't been following me for very long, you're learning about me. One thing I'll tell you right now, I tell the truth. Straight out. No conviction here. Nothing comes out here. All right? Have to have conviction. What I say is exactly what I do. And now I'm going to prove it. So a week ago, well, then maybe a little more than that, I told you that I was catching fish. On the Zoom Magnum Speedworm Watermelon Candy. We had a beat down. All right. So, Tackle Warehouse Delivery. Tackle Warehouse Delivery. Nothing but Zoom Magnum Speedworms and Watermelon Candy. Nothing but 10 of them. I'm having fun with this one. Folks, I don't lie. All right? That's what we're catching them fish on. Santone football jig, spicy craw, pig's perch. Zoom Magnum speed worm and the Zoom Magnum trick worm. I'm Mike McFarland giving you the Lake Fork Rundown. If you're enjoying it, you're getting any good information, please remember to give me the thumbs up, comment, and like below. Potentially share with your friends. Tell everybody about me. Find me on Instagram, The Lake Fork Guide. Find me on my business Facebook page, Lake Fork Adventures Guide Service. And last, get booked with me. There's only a few more days. I think July only has about eight more days, and that's it for this year. August, and August is real iffy. We may have some decent fishing in August, and we may not. You want to get in on any of the soft shore stuff, now is absolutely the time. Once again, I'm Mike McFarland, The Lake Fork Guide. Appreciate you watching The Lake Fork Rundown.